Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can publish a slideshow using the slideshow module in Lightroom. I've already created a collection of images, these are the images that I want to take to the slideshow module, so as they're selected we'll just move over to the slideshow. Now on the right hand side we have a number of different options. For example, if the aspect ratio is different from the cropping of each individual image, I can choose to zoom to fill frame. If I want to maintain the aspect ratio and just constrain the image within the guides here, then I'll uncheck that. If I want to add a stroke to the border around my images, I can do that, and I can also cast a shadow, which would make a lot more sense if the background wasn't black. So let's go ahead and close the options and move to layout. Here you can see that I can show my guides, and by default they're all linked, so if I were to move the sliders over to the right, you can see that the image actually gets smaller within the frame of the slideshow. If I unlink them, I can then move each one of these independently so that maybe if I wanted to add like a logo or watermark in one area, I could do that and reposition the slide over to the other side. But for now, let's go ahead and link them all. And you don't necessarily have to show your layout panel in order to change the guides. I can just position my cursor on top of the guide and then click and drag in order to reduce or increase the size of the area where the photograph will play. All right, in the overlay mode, you'll notice that I can add things like an identity plate if I want to add something like my logo to the image. Now, I want to point out something important as I move around this identity plate, you'll notice that Lightroom is snapping it to different areas of either the image or the background. So if I want the logo to stay still, no matter what image is being shown, then I'll want to make sure that I snap it to the background. If, however, I want to position the identity plate so that it's maybe in the lower right-hand corner of each image, then I'll want to snap it to the image. Because then when I change from a horizontal image to a vertical image, you can see that the identity plate will move based on the orientation of the image. All right, let's uncheck the identity plate. I just want to point out that you can also add watermarking, you can add rating stars. But the one that I really like is the text overlays. So I'm going to select that and then down in the toolbar, I'll click where it says ABC. Then where it says custom text, I can select from any of these different options, which will tell Lightroom to go and look at the metadata for each individual photograph. So for example, if I select titles, because I've added titles in the metadata area in the library module, Lightroom will display that title right here. So let's center that title and I'll just make it a little bit smaller and then reposition it down here at the bottom and I'll move my guides up a little to make my image a little smaller. But watch, as I move to another image, you can see that Lightroom's looking at the metadata for that image and will automatically update the text overlay for me. All right, let's take a look at my backdrop options. I can add a color wash if I kind of want to add a subtle gradation across the back of the slide. For now, I'll just leave it black. I could add a background image as well, and I can change the background color. All right. Now let's talk about titles. If I want to add a title or an intro screen at the beginning of my slideshow or at the end of my slideshow, I can add it here. Here it's just adding my basic identity plate, but if I want to change that, I can click on this downward facing triangle, select edit, and then maybe type in the word Japan. I'll click OK, and now that becomes my intro screen. You can see that I could preview it there for just a moment, and if I want to make a change like scale the type, when I choose the scale slider, it'll go ahead and display that. So I can also add an ending screen. Maybe I want to give music credits or maybe give a link to my blog, but for right now, we can just leave that blank. All right, let's close the title panel and let's talk about adding music. If I click on the plus icon here, I can go ahead and add multiple audio tracks. I can select all of these and then click choose. I can actually add up to 10 different tracks and I can see the duration for every track next to the individual song as well as the duration for all of the tracks up here. So I think I've got a few too many tracks, so I'm going to select one of these and then click on the minus sign to remove it. And then let's take a look at the playback options. 
Now I want this slideshow to play music and actually have some motion, so I'm gonna stay with the automatic option. If you want to control the slideshow yourself and actually use your arrow keys to move from one image to the next, because maybe you're telling a story about each photograph, then you'll wanna move over to the manual area. But for right now, we'll stick with automatic, and I can choose the amount of time for the crossfade or for the blending of one image into the next. Of course, I can choose not to show a crossfade and set it to zero, but I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of a slower crossfade, maybe of about two seconds. And then I want Lightroom to figure out how much time each image should appear. So I'll click Fit to Music and have it calculate it. Now I think 11 seconds for each image is a bit too much. So let's return back up here to the audio tracks. I'm gonna remove another one of those tracks and then tell Lightroom to recalculate it and fit to music. 7.2 seconds is a little bit better. I probably wanna add a few more slides to the slideshow if this is actually one I wanna create. But I also wanna point out if you have video in the slideshow, you have a, an audio balance here. If the audio in the video is important, then you want to move the slider more towards video so that when the video plays, the audio soundtrack, your music overlay, will fade out the video fades in and at the end of the video, your music fades back in. But since I don't have any video, we can just leave this alone. I do want each image to move a little bit, so I'm gonna to choose to pan and zoom. I only want it to move a little bit though, so I'm going to leave the slider towards low as opposed to high. And this is kind of a randomized pan and zoom, so when I play the slideshow, Lightroom will automatically select the area from which to pan and which to zoom. All right, so once I have all of the settings set up the way I want them, I would probably want to save this as a template if I ever wanted to use all of these settings again. Over here in the template browser, if I click on the plus icon, I could then save this as maybe my basic black slideshow. I'll save that into my user templates and then click create. If I want to save not only all of the options, so basically the template, but also the photographs that I have selected as a saved slideshow, then I choose Create Saved Slideshow. So I'll call this my Japan Slideshow. I'm gonna include it inside the Best of Japan collection and then click Create. And let's take a look at that over here in my Collections panel. You can see that the Best of Japan, that is the collection that has the photographs in it, but I've saved not only a saved book project, but now I've saved a slideshow project. So that saves both the template or all of the settings as well as the individual photographs. Of course, there are a lot of different templates that ship with Lightroom that you should check out when you have a moment. I'll just wrap up by saying that when we're finished, we can either preview the slideshow right here in this area. We can play the slideshow, in which case it plays on a black background so we won't see the Lightroom interface. Or if we want to distribute this, we can export it to video or to PDF. I'll go ahead and select export to video. You can see here that we have a number of different video presets that we can choose from. All you need to do is give it a title and click export. You can see how easy it is to create a slideshow in Lightroom and customize it based on your preferences. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.